So one of the most important thing that in uh, Cucumber we'll be looking at is uh, Cucumber options, right? Now what are Cucumber options as in, uh, uh, let's take up an example, let's say when we are working in a project, we have different packages in a project like, like right uh, now what we have done, uh, we have kept everything inside a default package, right? So uh, if I create some packages over here, let's say I name it as uh, steps and I keep all my step files inside these packages, the step package, right? I'll just move them to the step package. And similarly, if I uh, create a new package for feature files, I'll say features, and I keep all my features inside the feature package, right? And similarly, I'll create one package as runner and I'll keep my runner inside the run package. So it will be more manageable, right? I'll, I can go ahead and I'll check how many features are there. I can check how many step files are there, right? And what happened if I run this uh, queue file uh, runner now, it will not gonna show anything. It says no feature found at class path runner zero scenarios, zero steps. So it's, it's not able to identify the step file and it's not able to identify the feature file. So what we can do, we can go uh, in our runner file and we'll add something called as uh, Cucumber Options, right? So this Cucumber Options, uh, we can import from uh, the Cucumber API itself. And then we're gonna add a bracket over here and first we need to tell this cucumber option that where the feature files are so what i can do i'll just say features so there's a property that is called as features and i'll say features equal to uh, and this braces curly braces and i'll tell the location of features that is inside source folder and the features package so i'll say src and i'll say features And similarly, uh, for the step definition, there's something called as glue. So I'll say glue and uh, same I'll give equal to and the curly braces and I'll define where my step definitions are. So this is inside SRC steps, right? So once I give this, I'll right click over here, say run as J unit test and it will identify all these but uh, i can see it has actually skipped all the steps so what is the reason for step skipping the steps it is actually not able to identify the step definition file so probably we have done some mistake and let us see this is src steps src features so uh, for the step definition where we have the Java files available, we need not to give the source package. We can directly give the package where all the step files are there. So I can right click again and run as JUnit test and you're gonna find that all the step definitions have been executed. All the features have been executed. Right, so this is how we can uh, uh, achieve this thing when we have uh, different packages that contains our feature files, our runner and the step definition. And then we can uh, use this Cucumber options and use these two features, one is feature, one is glue, right? And define our steps over here. There are a couple more things available in Cucumber options as in if you take a look at the output, uh, we are getting some special characters over here, right? 32M4 passed, right? So to bring this thing in a more uh, formatted manner, I can add one more uh, feature that says monochrome equal to true, right? This monochrome defines the formatting of uh, our console file. So if I run this uh, basically it defines uh, the formatting of the output that we receive it says four scenario for our past 24 steps 24 steps are passed right so this is in a more formatted manner you can set this monochrome to true or false if you set it to false then uh, you're gonna see the same output that we have seen previously if you want to see it in more uh, structurized manner then you need to give monochrome as true
All right.